Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is all about helping you guys edit your photos and your videos professionally, but for free. And in this episode, I'm going to edit a photo from Anthony Morganti. He uploaded a video, which is the best photo editor. And he didn't use Darktable. He used a couple of paid programs. So I left a comment and I said, I'm going to edit your photo in Darktable. Then he reached out and he said, well, feel free to make a video about it. So I figured, why not? So I'm going to show you guys how to do so. The photo will be available, but I put a link to the video of Anthony Morganti. You can download it from there. Now let's start. And here we have the image we're going to finish with. I've already taken a snapshot. Now let me show you guys the original one. So I'm going to use the orientation step. And we've got the original on the right side. And now if I move this slider, here we have the end result. I'm going to show you guys how to do so. We're going to use the basic adjustments. We're going to use the tone equalizer. We're going to use the low pass. We're going to use the color zones. We're going to use the tone curve and we're going to use the denoise module. I've put them in my favorites already so that I can start working on this image immediately. So I'm going to select the orientation step, hit the compress history stack and now let's go. The first module that we're going to use is the basic adjustments one. So I've just activated it and I want to balance the image out a little bit. So I'm going to increase the black level and I want to increase the contrast of this image as well. And now you see we've got a better spread histogram and I want to lighten it up a little bit by moving this slider to the left from the middle gray point. And then this image needs some extra saturation. I'm going to do that manually. This is quite a bit, but you'll see why I do this in a minute. I'm going to increase the vibrance as well by quite a bit so that the colors will pop as soon as we start to work with the tonality of this image. And now let's move on to my favorite module, which is the tone equalizer module. I'm going to activate that. And if you hover around the image, you can see where the pixels are. So we've got minus 2.8 here and we've got minus 3.9 here. If we want to increase it, we can place our mouse here and scroll away from us to increase it or towards us to decrease the tonality. And in this case, I want to increase it a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to change it a little bit manually. So I'm going to bring this one down. I'm going to bring this one up. I'm going to bring this one down as well because it's using big increments when you just scroll around on the image. And I'm going to leave the minus three as is because I think that looks pretty fine. And now what I want to do is I want to use the low pass module. I'm going to activate it and I'm going to increase the radius by quite a bit. And I'm going to make sure that the contrast is set to zero, saturation is set to zero as well. And then we're going to hit this button, which is uniformly. And that allows us to change the blend mode. And I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to overlay. And now I'm just going to move these sliders around a little bit to see how it looks. And I'm just going to eyeball it. So I don't really have any specific technique for this. I'm just going to do what looks good to the eye. And let me show you guys a quick before and after. So here's the image that we started with. And this is the point that we're at already. Now let's move on to the colors. So I'm going to use the color zones module. I'm going to activate it. And I want to change the saturation a little bit. And specifically the saturation of the greens, I want to decrease them. So I'm just going to click this symbol and I'm going to select the greens and it shows that the greens are in this area. So I'm going to drag those down just to make sure that they're not as bright as they were before. But I am going to change the yellows of this image. I'm going to create another point and then drag this one down again. Now don't worry about this curve going down the middle line because there aren't many of these colors in this image anyways. So we've increased the yellows and we've decreased the greens in this image. And now I want to use the tone curve module. And usually what I do is just, I just move this around to increase or decrease the contrast. So I'm bringing up the mid tones, maybe bring down the highlights or bring them up. Uh, I'm bringing up the shadows or just crushing them a little bit, depending on the image that's in hand. So this is like an S curve as we call it. I'm going to double click it and reset it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the uniformly button. 
I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to overlay and I'm going to change the opacity till the point that it looks good and I think it looks good at around 60% and it really really makes this image alive now I just want to clean up the noise in this image because we do have some noise so I'm just going to activate the denoise module and now the noise is gone now let me zoom out for you guys again there you go and here we have the final result so let me show you guys once more we've got the orientation step which is the original image it's very dull it's very flat it's the raw file and now after we've done an edit in dark table this is the end result and this bird just looks as if it's going to fly away straight away i hope you guys like it let me know in the comment section down below as said before i'm going to put a link to this photo in the description but it'll be a link to the video that anthony made because that's the source of this photo uh, he agreed with me uh, using this photo and he agreed with me uh, creating a video about it let me know what you thought in the comment section and for this week there's only one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button consider subscribing if you haven't already hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when i drop on a video and until next time doei